Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabac USA. In this video, we are going to talk about ESD or electrostatic discharge. So this kind of electricity, you will find it when you are maybe dragging your feet on a carpet or something like that, or maybe you're uh, taking off a, a pullover or something and you will hear or see and feel uh, the small amount of electricity so that is what is going to kill your computer or any part that you're going to get in touch with so that is uh, the main thing that you have to think when you're going to repair a computer you have to be ready to avoid this kind of problem so there are uh, many things on the market. Um, maybe you have seen this uh, everywhere. This is a band uh, strip that you that you can use in your arm, and then you, you you will have to use this alligator on the computer, and then that way you will be your computer will be protected. So uh, that is is one way to avoid it. To have any electricity on your on your components. So the other uh, thing, if you see, there are many other things on the market. Um, maybe you can find gloves, or maybe you can find another kind of gloves. Also, you will see in when you buy a, a memory, or maybe uh, like a memory RAM, or maybe a motherboard or something like that. You're going to start seeing these kind of bags. So these bags are for that purpose. So, uh, when you remove a component, always don't put it on top of the bag, always inside of the bag. So that way it will, you will uh, prevent any um, discharge of electricity. Also, in the worst case scenario, if you, if you don't have any of these things that I just uh, show you, what you can do is try to touch maybe something a metal, some, something that is a metal thing, like maybe the, um, the faucet, uh, before touching the computer, also the case, something that doesn't have any paint, that you, if you have any charge on your body, you will leave immediately. So that is one thing. Here I have an, another thing that uh, I'm going to show you that um, is cool. I found it on, on eBay or in Amazon. If you want, I can give you the link later, but it, there are like little fingers. So that way, if you want to use them in all your fingers, of course, you can start uh, touching uh, any component of the computer, but you have to make sure that it, it, no other part of your hand will touch it. Otherwise, you will have some problem. So it, it depends on what you want to use. Uh, the, safe, the safest uh, thing will be this. Worst case scenario, if you cannot find something like this, maybe gloves or maybe this, it, it may work uh, as well. Uh, if you, like I said before, if you, if you cannot find any of that, try to touch the faucet or the computer case, something, so before uh, start working with the, with the computer. Also, another thing that is very important, unplug the computer from the outlet. So that way you can uh, make sure that the computer will not have any electricity on their system. Also, what you can do is try to push the power on a button, so that way, uh, if there is uh, remaining electricity on the capacitors or something like that, it will go away. And also, if you're going to work with a notebook or anything like that, I recommend to uh, remove the battery. So that way you can uh, work uh, safely uh, with the computer. So that is uh, the, the main thing. So try to, to prevent those things. The main thing, like I said before, as soon you remove something from the computer, have one of the gray bags next to you. So you put the element over there. And another thing that I'm going to share with you, the worst case scenario, here I have a motherboard that is very old. So I have it for test, for testing. So if you, if you see, you have like, uh, different legs, dif different pins, uh, and all the things, and you have also the the, the, the pinout, the pins here, of the um, reset, the power button, uh, and, and all the things. So try to avoid touching on any of those elements that doesn't have any coding or anything like that. So that that way, if you have to remove the motherboard, what you can do is 
try to grab it from, from here, from the PCI uh, ports. Um, so that way you, 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 you don't get in contact with the, with the metal or with the other connector. So you will see maybe here you have all the pins from the, the soldering of the processor, memory, and, and everything else. So if you can uh, remove it uh, this way, it will be very, very hard, even if you have a static on your body that you may damage it. In worst case scenario, always I'm saying if you, if you, I don't know in what country where you are, but if you cannot get any of those things and you have to work on the computer and there is no other way, that is what I would recommend. Try to grab it like that. Also, if you grab the, the hard drives, remember this is not a sandwich, so you're not going to, <laughs> to grab it like that. So uh, I see many people who they don't care. They they think this is a piece of rock or something like that, and they grab the thing. The the thing is even without bag, or maybe they use a grocery store bag, or they put it anywhere. So what I uh, would recommend when you're going to install this on, on any computer, is just uh, grab it from the from the size. So that way you don't get in touch with the electronic parts. That, that, that is vital, that is critical. So d use those uh, tricks that I just showed you and that way you will avoid voiding the, the warranty or, or ruin any, any component that you, you may get in touch with. So that is uh, my take in this uh, subject. I know it was a small class, very short, but it, it is, it's very important. So before uh, trying to touch anything, do that and you will not have any problem. So like, like always, if you have any question, you can leave it on the comment or you can go to the forum. The forum, there is a community that is growing. And also remember, subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye. Oh, I'm back. I forgot something. This is very important. Uh, I fixed it. They have a, um, a special tweezers that you can uh, use. I don't know if you have to remove a shamper or something like that. Um, they, they are, they say, ESD safe. So that is, is very important. So if you have to remove like a small component or something like that, if you can grab uh, these kind of kits, uh, they are great. So here I have on the table the iFixit uh, kit. So if you, if you want to buy one of these, they come with everything with a big uh, kit. I mean, it, this is 54 tips. Um, it comes with uh, with this anti-static uh, band wrist. So I hope it was useful, and see you next class.